Tonight on Thrill of a Lifetime, a busy mom proves that she can handle the big boys in one of the world's toughest team sports. And a motorcycle mom rides off into the sunset with a biker legend. Shelly Vokes, a 44-year-old auto industry worker with a passion for motorcycles. She takes a back seat to no one. My thrill of a lifetime, my name is Shelly and my thrill would be to meet Jesse James of West Coast Choppers. I love Jesse. Jesse James is the Elvis of the custom bike world. His famous shop, West Coast Choppers, has customers like Shaquille O'Neal, Keanu Reeves and Kid Rock. And Jesse is a celebrity himself. He's one of People Magazine's sexiest men alive, known for his bad boy image. But that only makes him more appealing. Jesse James! <laughs> Why? Because he's sexy. <laughs> um, I love his attitude. I love Jesse James' his attitude. It's her own carefree attitude that drove her to start riding six years ago. My husband's been riding for years, and I got sick of riding on the back of my husband's bike. And I just decided one day that I was gonna go buy a motorcycle. And that's what I did. This is my bike right here. And this is my husband's bike right here. I can hear a Harley coming. I can hear it coming down the road and I always look. And by looking, I don't know what that does, but I get little butterflies in my stomach and I just, it's a passion that I have and you might have a passion for something else, but it's just, it's what I like. Obviously, as my wife, I'm concerned about her being out there riding on her own, but uh, she proved to, to handle the bike, uh, bike well, better than some men I know. I feel riding's a part of our life. You could have a stressful day, and I come home from work, and I'll jump on my bike, and I'll take off, and you don't really think about anything. You're just in the sun, in that wind. It's nice, it's just freedom. Michelle's just not a, a wife to me, she's a friend. It's like, uh, I'm out with one of my friends for a ride and, and I really enjoy it. That's important to me. I think it's important to me and us as a family that we do those type of things. You know, we go out to dinner, we'll take the bikes out and we'll go for, or for, go for a coffee or ride down to our friends and you might hook up with a couple people you don't know and go for a ride and wind up making a day of it. You never really know who you're gonna meet there's one very special biker she'd love to meet. Shelly's friends agree. Jesse James is all that and a tank of gas. I, I think he's cool. I like his bikes. I like what he does with them. He's cool. I agree, sexy. <laughs> if I get to meet Jesse James, I'll probably won't be able to say anything. <laughs> I'll be in shock. Well, Shelly's about to be supercharged. A special invitation is on its way. <laughs> Oh my god! Thrill of a lifetime is sending you to Long Beach, California to meet Jesse James. Oh. Ah! It. Believe it, start revving your engines. Now meet Leah Gilby, a 43-year-old stay-at-home mom. How was your game, Mom? My game was great. You guys were all asleep. She has a passion for sports. Make that one sport in particular. Hi, Thrill of a Lifetime. I would like to be a practice goaltender for the Toronto Rock Lacrosse team. Go Rock, go! As demanding as hockey and as perilous as football, lacrosse is not for the weak of heart. And the Toronto Rock is among the world's most successful and severe teams. When she's not caring for her three children and keeping life's daily catastrophes at bay, Leah dreams of one thing, the game of lacrosse. My passion for lacrosse is when I came probably out of the womb. We're a lacrosse family. My father played lacrosse. My dad didn't want me to play lacrosse because I was his girl. So, and he didn't want me to be rough and tumbled, 
tomboy, which I was, and at 10, he decided to give me the chance. Well, she was trying to convince me to have her play goal on my boys' team, and I had her practicing with my boys' team. Unfortunately, some of the boys shot a little too hard at her head, and I became worried that she might get injured. Later on, I think my father really appreciated my skills, but in the 70s, they would not let women play with men. These days, the girls can play with the boys, and now Leah's children have caught her love of the game. Although Leah was happy being a lacrosse mom, her passion still burned to play the game again. So, three years ago, she decided to pick up her stick and go back in the net with an adult women's league. Despite the risk of serious injury, Leah is totally fearless, even after enduring the physical and emotional strain of having a hysterectomy last year. I didn't think I could do it because I was overweight, but I was excited. It just felt good, uh, smelled good. I uh, sort of wondered at first about with the age and everything else, but uh, she quickly convinced me that uh, it was something she wanted to do. It sort of brought out um, the gregarious nature. I didn't tell my parents right away. They said, you're too old for this, you're crazy. You know, you shouldn't be playing anymore. You just had a hysterectomy. She has to realize that she's not getting any younger and she's going to have to stop sometime. But not just yet, right, Leah? When I play lacrosse, I don't feel any pain or any aches. I only have that white ball to look at. Lacrosse is my life. It's a feeling that just overwhelms me. It's, it's my niche. My thrill is to be the practice goalie for the Toronto Rock because I'd be back with the boys. The girls are fine, but I wouldn't mind trying to get some shots on me that I know I can save. As long as I don't pass out, I think I'd be fine. Leah has taken us to the garage to show us her equipment. What she doesn't know is we got there first. What the heck is this? <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. Oh, it's a rock saying thrill of a lifetime. Oh, wow. Thrill of a lifetime is sending you to 10 goal for the... Yay! Oh, all right. Wow. Now you have to tell your parents. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you tell them for me? <laughs> no. Coming up, Leah finds herself between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> and Shelly cruises into her dream world. Oh my god, I can't believe it. 3,000 miles. Shelly is joined by her husband and 18-year-old daughter as she cruises around Jesse James's biker turf, Long Beach, California. thinking how can I prepare but you just kind of get ready and kind of go with the flow and just wait for the moment. Okay so should I wear okay okay I'll show you this one first but you think that's too fancy? I like the West Coast huh? Chopper shirt. Yeah, West Coast Chopper shirt's nice. Oh you're still here? Oh yeah. Yeah. By that time I was so anxious that I couldn't wait to finally go and meet Jesse James. We're on our way. So excited. When I'm there, I want to soak as much up as I can. And I'm just, I'm really getting excited, really excited. Can you see my heart popping out of my shirt? <laughs> well, I'm excited, of course I am, I'd be. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little excited. I got a little rush going on right now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you're excited. Yeah, I'm fired up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah no doubt about it. And we could see his shop from the corner and we were only a block away and that's when we really were excited. My husband was yelling, I was yelling. My daughter was yelling. We are all trying to look out the window. Is that, it's, is that it? Priscilla, there's, there's the, the building. There, it's on this side of the road. It's on this side Which of the side? road. Which side? My heart was pounding, there's and the anticipation the was just, it was at its peak. That's, that's, that's it, yep. Go faster, go faster, Andy, go faster. There's the Here West Coast side ah! truck. Oh, my God. Doesn't this seem like a dream? I'm even shaking. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what's running through my mind right now. I'm almost numb. I'm very excited and the anticipation is just, it's eating me up. <laughs> That's what's happening, it's eating me up. Okay, Shelly, this is it. Oh my God, I can't believe it. 3,000 miles. When 
when I walked in and I seen the shop and I seen all the bikes, I took a deep breath. Right now I could scream, oh my god, look at it. Is this cool or what? <laughs> this is it? What I did is I, I had to walk through his shop and then go up the stairs. <laughs> Hello. This motorcycle mama is as excited as a schoolgirl. Wow. Meanwhile, Lee is about to join the ranks of the Toronto Rock lacrosse team. The Toronto Rock is a high-scoring team playing an equally high-intensity game. There is no roaring crowd tonight, but Leah's heart is racing. It's the biggest game of her life. How are you? Nice. How are you? Very well. How about yourself? Ah. <laughs> Uh, nervous, excited, nervous. Practice Toronto Rock goalie Bob Watson, a.k.a. Whipper, is going to be showing Leah the ropes tonight. By the way, my nickname's Millie. Millie. And yours, Whipper, right? Mine's Whipper, yeah. See, how come it's always the goalies that have the nicknames? You ever notice that? Well, some of the players do. Well, some players do, yeah. Bob shows her to the dressing room, where she'll suit up for her big moment. She has more than 30 pounds of equipment to put on, and she needs it. Because in a few moments, she'll be a human target for dozens of rock-hard rubber balls, traveling at upwards of 160 kilometers an hour. And this is voluntary? I don't think too many people like to do this. A lot of my teammates said that it takes a special breed to be a goaltender. They didn't really say special. They said it takes a nut to do this, so... Are you sure you want to go through with this, Leah? Yes, I'm positive I want to go through with this. I really can't back out now, can I? But I do want to go through this. All right, Billy, you ready to go? Ready to go. All right, let's do it. All ready. Here we go. One last Here's minute kiss from hubby before she goes into battle. Okay, Millie, this is the moment of truth. Are you, are you ready to get at it? Yeah. Feeling nervous? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a breeze. So walk in the park. So let's right. put on our helmets and let's go. This is it. Time to put yourself in the line of fire. This is Leah. And uh, Leah, this is the guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> and yeah. Don't go easy on her, you know. Put her through the ropes. Put her through the test. And, uh, you know, make her work hard out here. Get a good sweat on for her. Going into the net, nobody told me anything, but instinct just took over. When Watson said, here comes the guys, I just kicked in. I looked at them, I thought, they're coming. I was a little bit apprehensive because I knew I might not save the shots, but I did save some, which was great. Nice job, but we've got one more surprise for you, Leah. Leah, you're gonna get an opportunity to drop the ceremonial face-off at our next home game. Oh, wow, right. thank you so much. All right, looking Woo! forward to that, all right. Hey. She's now going to be one of the boys, an honorary team member on game night. Oh, <laughs> Coming up, Shelly meets the California biker who really revs her engine. There he is, I see him. And Leah's given a special honor in front of a packed stadium. Hey, mommy. Leah's favorite lacrosse team, The Rock, has asked her to do the honor of dropping the ceremonial face-off ball in tonight's game against the Buffalo Bandits. The Air Canada Center is packed and the fans are pumped. Go, Rock, go! Go, Rock, go! Go, Rock, go! No one's a bigger fan than Leah, and tonight she'll get the royal treatment. On uh, behalf of the team, I'd just like to present a jersey to you for and spending the time And that's not with all. Us. And by the way, you knew you were going to spend uh, half the game on the bench with us tonight as well? No way. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool. Yeah, we wouldn't have it any other way, so we're looking forward to it. Super. Better hurry up, because your boys are ready to rock. Going out on the floor, I'm looking around thinking, am I supposed to run? What am I supposed to do? Nobody's around me. Nobody's telling me anything. So I'm getting freaked out again. And the coach, that's Bartley, says, you're supposed to be out on the floor. And I said, yeah. And he says, OK, I'll take you out. And he puts his arm around me, and we walk out. We just stroll out. That's when it was, I'm really here. It, it felt like I was part of the team.
The ceremonial face-off is a long-standing prestigious ritual in lacrosse. It's considered a great honor to drop the ball because now the game can begin. Thousands of fans would love to have her seat tonight. Being on the bench felt like I was part of the team. It was just really neat to hear um, what was going on, what the players were saying, how much praise they were giving off the floor. You know, you really did a good job. And, you know, they're my boys now. Okay, this is really cool. This is unbelievable. But I don't want to get in their way. I think I've accomplished something really grand, something I can tell my kids. They've been a part of it. I've done something I think a lot of people are going to respect. I think to date I'm the only woman who's ever played goal, practiced with them. And I'm writing a journal about it, and um, Steve is saying I'm never going to shut up about this. So, yeah, it's going to be with me a long, long time. And I'm going to tell everybody and their brother, I think. Meanwhile, Shelly's about to meet her idol, the legendary biker, Jesse James. You know, you kind of go over it in your mind. You might say this, you might say that, but I just hope he speaks to me because if he doesn't speak to me, I know what he's thinking because <laughs> that's the way he is. And he was actually waiting for me in his actual workshop, the bike shop. There he is, I see him. I go through the doors and he's standing right there. Hi. How you doing? Can I get out? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. When I first seen him, I thought, he's really nice. I, you can see it in his eyes. But even though he has a lot of hardcore stuff around him, you can still see that he's a gentle guy. Aren't you hot with that on? No. Well, I've been welding, so it keeps me from getting I'm sweating. <laughs> We talked for a bit, and then my husband and my daughter were invited in, and they were really excited, and they shook his hand, and they got to meet him. You guys want to check out the shop? Yeah, come on. These are all customers waiting. This one's Kid Rocks. This is Goldberg's new bike. We're doing him a second oh, one. Oh, is it? This one, uh, we're just finishing up. This is wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons, Sean Jefferson. It's his bike. It was a $150,000 bike, and he let me sit on it. I was nervous doing that, but that was good. I wanted to look around his shop and I just kind of wanted to see the whole operation and actually to talk to him about my bike. And he gave me some really cool ideas. I mean, if you were really tough, you'd just paint it flat black and just ride it and never wash it. <laughs> just, just tell everybody you don't care. That'd don't try to make it all cutesy. <laughs> Sometimes you, you can't forget the reason why you got a bike in the first place. To ride it. You know. In my mind, I had something set, an idea of the bike, and he kind of gave me an idea of something else to be different than everybody else. And that's what I was looking for. That's kind of what I wanted to hear. And now I'm going to go home and do it. Shelly thinks she's just getting a tour of Jesse's shop, but she's really in for a wild ride. He was very good about it when you really think about it, because if the phone was ringing, line one, somebody else was there for a job interview. And he took the time to speak with me, and I was happy about that. <laughs> so cool. So you want to go for a ride? Some? A ride with Jesse James? The only woman allowed on his bike is his wife. Coming up, Shelly proves that she was born to be wild. Jesse James has just invited Shelly to cruise with him on his bike. So I couldn't believe it. Just out of the blue, he asked me to go for a ride. I think the only bike I have is uh, my Road King. It has two seats. That or my Suzuki. Oh, okay, Road King. got it. <laughs> the cop bike? Yeah. Right on. <laughs> wow, she's going for a ride with one of the sexiest men alive. It's a chance of a lifetime, but he just doesn't take anybody for a ride. So when he fired the bike up, you know, I'd get the butterflies. And then I realized that I am going on the bike with him. And I hopped on the bike, and it was awesome. He took off down the road. But what about her husband? 
Ah, she'll worry about him later. She's hoping that ride never ends right now. Huh? Oh, that's what she wants. man, that's awesome. He is so cool, Jesse. Hope he's cool enough to bring your wife back. I couldn't believe that I was on the back of the bike. And I didn't know what to do with my hands. I'm like, should I put my hands around him? Should I put my hands right here? So I just left my hands here. Randy who? <laughs> so should we pull him over? <laughs> pull him over. <laughs> Changed. My whole idea has changed. It was good. It was, it was excellent. I loved it. How many people get to ride in a bike with Jesse James? Not many people can say they have, but I have. Tell us your thrill, and we will make it happen. Go to thrillofalifetime.ca. I don't yeah. think. I think they should do something tough. Tough. You know, no roses or nothing like that on it. Do it like, oh. you know. Did you get the bike because you want to be a good girl or a bad girl? A medium girl. 